Let's talk some sports, baby. better than today and make today better than yesterday and you know what we gonna do we gonna holler at you until next time baby all right the uh second championship game will uh take us back to kansas city it'll be the buffalo bills visiting the kansas city chiefs uh the big um big storyline all week from this one patrick mahomes uh would he play would he not play well uh friday he announced uh, he's cleared the concussion protocol, so he'll be on the field. And um, that is to the benefit of, of us all because uh, Josh Allen versus Patrick Mahomes sounds a lot better than Josh Allen versus uh, Chad Henney. So we have that going for us. Uh, these two teams met a, little bit, a bit earlier this year, and the um, Chiefs won that one 26-17, highlighted by uh, the running game, interestingly enough. Uh, and it looks like Clyde edwards Hilaire is trending in the right direction as well. Um but with all, with all that in mind, um, another great matchup uh, as far as I'm concerned. Drink, what do you see in this one? All right. For all my people out there, all my Josh Allen fans, let me tell you something. It's prime time, baby. Hey, Drink, what you talking about, man? Make some sense. Listen, for all these Josh Allen fans that say, you know, Josh Allen is actually better than Patrick Mahomes. But Patrick Mahomes has the better weapons. Okay, cool. And my, my pushback has always been, I got to see something with Josh Allen in the playoffs before I can give him that mantle. Here is the game. If the Buffalo Bills go in to Kansas City with Patrick, Mah- with Patrick Mahomes as the starting quarterback and they get the dub in Kansas City, then... Only then will I open my eyes up and say, Josh Allen might just be as good as every other quarterback. But until I see that, a significant win on that level, I'm tired of people comparing him to Patrick Mahomes. Because what this here's what we've seen out of Patrick Mahomes. Do he have an elite group of talent? Yes. Yeah. I get tired of people. Like, they do this in college football all the time. Oh, this guy can't be good because he got talent around him. How good could he really be? That. The whole goal is to build a talented team. Since when was the goal to, hey, I want to I want to get a quarterback and I don't want to build anything around him. I just I just want everybody else to suck because I want to see how good the quarterback is. That's not that's not the goal. That's not the GM goal. Your GM, if he had his way or her way, it would be the 11 best players they got on their team. And I don't care if it's 11 straight pro bowlers, but I want the 11 best. So I don't understand that stigma. So Patrick Mahomes is not good because the Chiefs were smart enough as an organization to build the pieces around them. Well, as you can see right now with the Buffalo Bills, they seem to be doing the same damn thing around Josh Allen. You know, that wide receiver core ain't a full of chunks. That's a reasonable wide receiver core. We, me and you just were talking about um, Zach Moss and um, Singletary, Devin Singletary. That's a, that's a nice one-two punch. And don't, don't get me started on the offensive line. We know how serious they are. So it seems as if – oh, and I ain't even get started on the defense. So it seems as if the Bills are doing the same damn thing as Kansas City. So with that said, it is time for Josh Allen to show that if you give me some, if you give me time, I can deliver. I'm Amazon Prime. I can get it to you in two days. And if you know Bezos, I could probably get it to you in one day with one of these exclusive drones. Either way, give me some time. I'm going to deliver. And now he's going to play the guy that he's been compared to, in my opinion, the most, Patrick Mahomes. Now this is prime time. Once again, just like we talked about in the last matchup for the NFC, this is prime time. These, these four quarterbacks that we're going to watch play Sunday are four of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. You do not look at one of these quarterbacks and say, some, one thing is not like the other. How the hell did this sorry guy get here? We don't say that. We got respect for Josh Allen. We got respect for Patrick Mahomes. We got respect for Tom Brady. We definitely got respect for Aaron Rodgers. These are four respected quarterbacks. 
Now, Josh Allen, what you gonna do? All right, enough about the quarterback, Nelson. Um, let's 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 talk about the rest of the team. First of all, I wanna I wanna start with Kansas City defense because I think that that um group is very very underrated. I think people don't give the Chief enough credit on the defense side because the offense is so electric. Tyron Matthew, the leader of that defense, has came in there and gave that defense a voice, a path, and you got to respect it. Chris Jones, um, that defense line, you got to respect it, man. We have to respect what the Chiefs do on the defense side of the ball. It's no more the offense is carrying us through the season. It's no more the offense carrying us through the postseason. No, they're playing good ball on both sides of the ball. Now, why do I bring that up? Because – they're, they're going to play the Bills again. And this is, once again, like we said in NFC, this is not going to be the same team that they met the first time. It, it's not. I feel like the Bills is going to find a way to run the ball more because that seemed what, if you ask me what was the biggest knock on them in the first matchup, the Bills can run the ball. That if you look at the Bills can run the ball and Stephon Diggs seemed to have been, you know, not Stephon Diggs that game. I feel like that's going to be different. I feel like we're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different things. And let, and let make no mistake, Brian Dabo, after being passed over for that Chargers job, is going to whip out something because now he want, he want to open some eyes. He want to know why he didn't get that job when he was the front runner and think he should have had that job. So now he got a point to prove as well. Let's not forget about the coaches out here in these streets because, oh, you say, hey, Dr- hey, Drew, Oh, you want to talk about the Bills' offense coordinator? What about the Chiefs' offense coordinator? Oh, he got something to prove too, and he's been proving it for years. He got something to prove too. So that matchup is a great matchup right there. The two offense coordinators out here trying to get that resume polished up. So maybe this time next year, their head, their head coaches, or at least getting ready to sign the dotted line to be a head coach, something. Um, so the, the, the great matchups right there. I love those, the offensive matchups. Um, so when you put it that way, I guess you say the overall result of this game is going to come down to which defense get more stops. I know very er- elementary, I know, but when you have two highly, um, successful teams like this, that is what it comes down to. Um, will the Chiefs playing at home, will that make a big difference for the Bills? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's a significant advantage like plant, like Green Bay, getting Tampa Bay to, you know, to Wisconsin. But I do think it's somewhat of an advantage. And so with all that said, oh, let me backtrack. I know Patrick Mahomes playing in this game, but some tells me, let's let's look at him. Let's watch him in those first couple of possessions. Let's make sure all the screws are in the right place and they screwed in and um, he's, he's ready to play. Because um, if he's back there with the deer in the headlights, we might might have to see your boy old Henny come on, trot on in, Mr. Hero himself. Give me the red cape and um see what he could do against this Buffalo Bills defense. But if you give me a, a healthy Patrick Mahomes, I gotta think that that's a 38 point team, to be honest with you. 38 point team. But I do think the Bills, the Bills is a 31 point team. So I, I could I see the line is the Chiefs by three. I'm gonna say the Chiefs by Seven, I got a 38, 31, and, a, and I think they score more points in this game than they do in the NFC. And um, I think, you know, Kansas City, they pull it out. They got the talent. They got the coaches. And they, they know a little more. They've been on the stage more than the Bills have, and I think that will be somewhat of an advantage. I like um, McDermott, but McDermott ain't been on this stage before. And I don't think I can confidently say he can out-coach Andy Reid at this stage. So that said, yep, 38 31, Kansas City, book it. Yeah, I think it's um I think it's somewhat rare in a NFL game you'd want to, you know, put your, you know, pick on the solely on the health of one guy, but to me all week that was, you know, my question. If my home if my homes ain't going to play, I'll take I'll take the Bills cuz I just, you know, as much as I liked what I saw from Chad Henney last week, um, you know, Chad Henney in a full game against, you know, this Josh Allen, who's, you know, exceeding all levels of expect of playoff expectations after, you know, last season's forgettable mess in a wild card round. Got to give him credit. 
Um, he's played he's played well, and he's really done it without much of a running game. The Bills seemingly have kind of abandoned the run. Um, right. But I think, uh, you know, with Patrick Mahomes being healthy, uh, as you know, they announced that yesterday. Uh, I mean, it, it's a that's a pretty open and shut case as much as, you know, we like and respect this Bills team. And they've, you know, had a, a, a storybook season. Um, I think I think it ends here. Um, it's Andy Reid. It's Patrick Mahomes. And out of out of all four quarterbacks that are, you know, have reached this point, the only one that hasn't you know, reached this moment is Josh Allen. And that, I, and I think you're absolutely right about this Kansas City Chiefs defense being somewhat underrated. They, I mean, they I mean, when you have when you have an offense that, you know, has your back like that, you, know, you just you just go out there and you just play and you play loose and free because, you know, that. Oh, oh, we made a mistake and we gave up a touchdown. Oh, well, don't worry about it. They, I mean, they're about to score. So, you know, we'll get another shot at it. Um, you mentioned the and, – and just to, you know, put a bow on that, um, the Chiefs defense in the last – in eight of the last nine games has allowed 20 points or less. So when you when you think about that, I mean, the, the, Chiefs, the Chiefs offense, I mean, when are they not going to score 20 points? So right. that that's probably about, you know, the mark in this game – I don't. I think the Bills will. They'll. They'll beat twenty points in this game, uh, but I think the. I think the Chiefs' defense is good enough to get a stop here and there. Um, you know, more more so than I have confidence in the Bills' defense to get stops. And I think, you know, in the end, it's it's likely going to come down to 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 who can execute a little bit better in the red zone. So I think both of both of these defenses have a tendency to tighten up down there. And you mentioned right. the two, the two offensive minds and uh the enemy and, and Dable. And don't don't forget about these two um defensive minds. You remember um well uh the, the Buffalo Bills, Leslie Frazier, you know, he's he's a highly respected defensive mind, you know, coached the Minnesota Vikings uh, years ago. Coach, yep. And then, you know, Steve Spagnolo, that was a, that was a tremendous hire by Andy Reid. I, I don't know if you remember. Uh, but the, the fella that, you know, coached that defense before was a fella by the name of uh, Bob Sutton. And they should uh, they should have called him Senator Sutton because this one of them <laughs> fellas that just, you know, he'd been out, you know, coaching for just look like he'd been coaching for about 50 years. And it was it's just time to go. Like you've been up there in the Senate chambers too long. You ain't done nothing. You know, six months to pass one bill. I mean, get on out of here. So glad they went ahead and did it. And Steve Spagnuolo, he's got these guys playing well. You know, a lot of these guys are somewhat unknown. They don't have tremendous star power, but they do have Tyron Matthew, as you say. They do have Chris Jones. So they got a difference maker up front and a difference maker on the back end. And, right. you know, the other guys, and there's, there's some unknown fellas, you know, whether it's Damian Wilson, you know, Anthony Hitchens, you know, the list goes on and on. But they can do enough. And I think... Uh, when you look at the last game, you know, Kansas City ran for, you know, almost 250 yards. If Buffalo comes out, you know, with the same game plan, the same mindset that we don't want to get beat over the top, does Andy Reid have, can he have the same level of patience? Because I think that that type of performance is, it's not in Andy Reid's DNA to be that patient and run the ball 46 times to that degree of success. So I'm interested to see how will Leslie Frazier approach the game? Will he try, will he continue to, you know, try to protect you know, over the top, you know, and then, and, and, and let Kansas city move the ball on the ground a little bit if they want. Um, so that, that, that's going to be fun to see if he changes up his strategy and how Andy Reed, you know, runs his offense. Uh, but in the end, I, I'm, I'm glad my home is going to be out there. I think it's, um, you know, it's a watered down matchup without him. I hope he's good to go. I think that's, you know, considering uh, how he looked when he left the field, I think it's somewhat of a surprise that he's back this quickly and they announced it that early. Uh, but it's uh, it's it's good for all of us. In the end, I think it comes down to I'll take Patrick Mahomes over Josh Allen. I'll take Andy Reid over Sean McDermott. I think it's a close one. I think we'll see a fair amount of field goals. I think both defense will tighten up a little bit down there. Uh, but in the end, I like the Chiefs 30 to 27.